Back on the Anglers Extra pregame show, time for Catch of the Day. I'm Drew Carter, now joined by Josh Shaw. Josh, how you doing today? Pretty good. Josh, a couple days off, now you're back in the lineup. How you feeling? I'm good to be back in the lineup. I got two days off, feel well rested, I'm ready to go. You're batting second again. You batted second every time you've been in the lineup. What do you like about that spot? Oh, our two leadoff hitters, DJ and um, Paolo, are both hitting the ball well, so I'm hitting with runners in scoring position most of the time, and I like that. DJ's back in the lineup tonight. What have you seen from him so far in your brief time together? Yeah, he's a good player. He can run, he can hit, he can do everything, so it's nice to have him batting in front of you. In the two-hole, you've been very solid this year, hitting above 400. What's working for you so far? I'm just, just trying to stay behind the ball, hit the ball to right field. That's where my success has been. Stay with that. Now, last year at St. John's, you were the Big East Freshman of the Year in 2016. How do you feel like you've improved from 2016 to 2017? Uh, well, I'd like to say I got a little bit more mature. Playing up in the Cape last year, playing in the NECBL, you get to see a lot better competition, and then having a whole year in the Big East under my belt has helped me. You played a little bit with Ketuit last summer. Can you compare the difference between the Ketaliers and the Anglers? No, it's Cape Cod is Cape Cod. You're playing against the best competition, and that's what everybody's here for. The summer in Cape Cod is supposed to be the best summer of your life, and it's been, it's been a good, fun time both spots. You also played a little bit in the New England Collegiate Baseball League. What's the difference between the Cape and New England? It's a good league, too. I just say that the, the pitching here is just one notch above there, so it's tougher to hit, tougher pitchers league. Speaking of that pitching, the guy on the mound tonight for Chatham, Jeff Belge, your teammate at St. John's. What can you tell us about him? Uh, he's, a, he's a competitor, big lefty arm, uh, real good, and throws hard, and he's a, he competes, so he's just as good as anybody here. Now, as far as the team standpoint, unfortunately, you guys have dropped four in a row. What's the mood around the team right now? Uh, we still have a lot of energy. We, we played four close games. We had a couple tough losses that we were in the lead most of the game, so we still have the same confidence. We're a good team. I've been asking everyone this. Hitting coach Jamie D'Antone is new this year with Chatham. What have you been working on with him so far? I love Jamie. You know, he's a big league experience. He's a great guy to have around. In the summertime, you usually don't have, have coaches of his experience, but he's, he's been great. He works with all of us. He's played in the big league, so he can help you with whatever you need help with. I would say your favorite athlete is Ken Griffey Jr. on your player profile. Why do you like Ken Griffey Jr.? You know, the way he played the game, he's a freak athlete, and he's got one of the prettiest swings in baseball, so he's just fun to watch. You know, I looked up to him growing up. You ever wear your hat backwards? Never. I'm going to get yelled at for that. <laughs> All right, Josh, uh, starting tonight for Chatham in the number two hole for the Anglers, looking to break a four-game losing streak tonight against Brewster. Now back up to the press box for more of the Anglers Extra pregame show with Max Hers.